On, and we're taking a look back now today at the 25th anniversary of a tragic shooting at a Parker Middle School eighth grade dance in Edinburgh. Now, this incident claimed the life of 48-year-old science teacher John Gillette, a popular teacher who helped to organize that dance at Nick's place. Our Lisa Adams found out that some people at the dance that night still do not want to talk about it even 25 years later. But Gillette's daughter, Lisa Abbey, is talking, and she chose to share her thoughts with you because she tells you she's on a mission now. What is that? Good evening. Abby Gillette Campbell is on a mission. She was only 19 when her dad was taken from her family. She is so weary of watching other families and school communities robbed of loved ones, and she wants to work on prevention in her own sphere and beyond. April 24th, 1998, the pop of gunshots at an eighth grade dance. The celebration of the end of middle school instead became the end of innocence for 240 kids and robbed 19-year-old Abby Gillette and her family of their dad, science teacher John Gillette, forever. Abby says it's a loss felt for every life moment he's not there. Somebody hits a home run and he isn't there or gets a touchdown. Uh, he was a big football guy and, you know, going to football games with my son and playing and, you know, when he gets an interception and kind of look and it's, oh, you know, you miss out. And those times happen more often than not. What happened here at Nick's place 25 years ago at an eighth grade dance, an eighth grade gunman, a beloved teacher lost was shocking. Things like that just didn't happen back then. It's only now that school shootings have become so commonplace that the daughter of that teacher decided it was time to speak out. It was the shooting at Covenant School in Nashville in March. Three adults and three nine-year-olds dead that finally propelled her. Something just triggered me to say, enough is enough. This can't happen anymore. I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine burying my kids. So Abby is thinking about prevention, ways to help students emotionally challenged in our times. I want kids to have empathy. I want them to treat each other with respect. I want them to know where to get help if they're feeling uh, like they're in a bad spot. Abby says her Cambridge Springs School community is great with communication and mental health supports, but she wants to start a nonprofit to do more. We would like to be focused on prevention, um, more student well-being, um, after-school programs, more, th more trauma therapists in our buildings, offering um, activities for kids to keep them busy. She said seeing the body cam video from inside a school shooting is too scary for kids, yet impossible for them to avoid. And she longs to see a news story where school safety wins. It would be nice to turn on the TV someday and see that there is an attempted school shooting, but it was um, diverted because the school was too safe. Gillette also had some advice for parents. She said they must help too. Have a relationship with your kids where they're open with you. Educate them about resources that can help if they're feeling sad or mad. As for the shooter, Andrew Worst, he pled guilty to third degree murder and is still behind bars. Not eligible for parole until April 2028, five years from now when he's 44. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News.